but will never harm anyone else. This man did some terrible things to human beings, and I'm just glad that they found him guilty. Now at four, breaking news. Ed Buck, the political donor from West Hollywood, has just been found guilty of drugging and killing two gay black men in his apartment two years apart. And good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Chris Holmstrom in for Juan Fernandez. And I'm Rachel Kim in for Susie Su. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 4, streaming live on CBS and Los Angeles. It has been a long journey to justice for the families of the two victims, Jamel Moore and Timothy Dean. Yeah, from graphic videos and pictures to accusations of victim shaming, this trial took an emotional toll on all involved. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar live at the courthouse in downtown LA, where that verdict was read just a short while ago. Christine. Chris, friends and family of the victims were in the courtroom. I saw them in the hallways just afterwards, cheering, crying, hugging, celebrating within minutes of the verdict. Ed Buck was found guilty on all nine felony charges. The federal charges include providing methamphetamines to two men who died in Buck's West Hollywood apartment, one man in 2017 and another in 2019. Jurors deliberated for only four and a half hours today. Closing arguments were on Friday. Buck was found guilty guilty of causing the deaths of these two men, Jamal Moore in 2017 and Timothy Dean in 2019. Prosecutors say his fetish included injecting his victims with increasing doses, doses of methamphetamine until they became comatose. Several of the victims' friends and family spoke this afternoon outside the courthouse. They pointed out that former L.A. County DA's office did not initially pursue this case. It was the feds who brought the wrongful death charges uh, for these two men. They also say the victims were shamed and dismissed because they were black and gay. This is my baby, my son, who is a human being and he's loved by lots of people. But I'm, today is bittersweet. Today is the, the date that my son was murdered when he left my house four years ago. But we got victory today. Finally, Ed Buck will never harm anyone else. And I thank God for that. Um, and as I leave L.A., going back home, I thank everybody that has helped keep us strong throughout the three weeks that we've been here. Walking out of that house, I didn't know what was going to happen next. And I didn't know all this was going to happen. But I'm so happy and I'm so relieved that these families can get the justice that they deserve because they're the ones who suffered pain more than I did. I, I made it out alive, but they're suffering because they had, a, they had to lose someone in order for this to happen. Buck was a successful businessman, also a longtime Democratic donor, donating about a half a million dollars to local candidates since 2000. And activists today say it was because he was so well connected that this case did not see a courtroom for so long. Today, the prosecutors in the case also came out and spoke to the media, one of whom had tears in her eyes. It was a tremendous honor to be able to vindicate the rights of the victims in this case. And Lindsay and I. That's are right. absolutely thrilled that justice was served today That's in a right. sweeping yeah. guilty verdict. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the two most serious charges that Buck was convicted of carry at least 20 years in prison. No word yet on when Buck will be sentenced. Live downtown, I'm Christine Lazar. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, and hopefully the families involved get some closure with this. Christine, thank you.